Here we have a simple experiment designed to show how solutes change pressures in soft wall tubings to represent the venous return. We have two vessels linked together with tubes placed at equal levels at the bottom of the vessels. We've added a small yellow dye, small amount of yellow food colouring to the return flow and we're going to introduce some saline solution coloured red via a T-junction at the top of this experiment. The vessels will now be lowered to ground floor. As we can see, there is no flow. Now if we introduce some salt solution at the top, we can start to see the yellow return flow drawing water from one vessel while at the same time the salt solution is flowing down causing the other vessel to overflow could we have a top up there please? So we have a return flow in yellow, which is being drawn up, and a down flow in red. But if we examine closely, we can see that the salt solution has caused the one side of the tube to neck in the return flow side. which is designed to show how solutes could cause a stenosis in the venous return. Just going to introduce some more salt solution now. Again we see the downward flow and the return flow in yellow. Again the closing of the tube indicates the tension applied by the falling solutes. Just going to introduce some more salt solution so we can see it again. And there's that good old stenosis. And the tension is applied to the whole length of tube. Again, more salt solution. And the yellow solution is now being drawn back down, so we've completed the circuit. 